Girard with the Keyside Publishing Group's Look, Learn, and Create How-To Video Series. Today I'm here with Lance Richland, author of Drawing Made Easy, Life Like Heads. So, today's all exciting because we have a live model. Tell us all about what we're going to do today, Lance. Well, what I try to do in the book is to show people how to work when you actually have a model there. There are a lot of books on how to copy from photographs, and I deal with that a little bit in the book, but mainly it's the traditional way, the way the old masters worked. So um, I think there's a real need for that, and so I break it down into several stages that are easy to understand, mm -hmm. and uh, here's our model, and I would just start measuring and j judging the proportions. Using the traditional drawing methods. That's right, and those are covered exhaustively in the book. There's many diagrams, uh, it's made very simple. We're getting lots of reviews about the book that say it's easy to use, and it makes something that's really very difficult. Drawing from life is, I think, the most difficult thing in art, mm -hmm. and um, it makes it about as easy as we can make it. You know. Super. Now, what have you got on your page here? Okay, this is a basic uh, lay-in. Uh, we've already done a few lay-in stages before this to get it to this point, and in those stages, I measured and uh, I checked verticals, which means I tried to check which form aligns above and below which other form. For example, is the corner of the mouth aligning with the iris? Is it aligning on her? Is the, uh, the jawline uh, aligning with the top of the head a certain way? So I put my pencil up, I check on the model, then I check on the, on the paper. Um, and when I can get those verticals, or plumb lines we call them, accurate, then I can get a much more accurate uh, drawing. Mm -hmm. And this is, has a moderate amount of shading at this point. Well, I, ch I achieve that. This is a very interesting thing, and it's not covered in art schools enough. It's very important when you shade to simplify the tones in the beginning. What I try and do is I try and squint my eyes. It's very important because your mind gets confused by the variety of the tones. So if you squint your eyes, you see a very simplified pattern, and that helps you get the tones more accurate, which is a big problem for a lot of people. Um, then the next thing I do is to get that dark background, I start adding, I start really pressing down with a pencil and using my darker pencils, and I wait until the end of the drawing, till I'm almost at the end, to really get the darks in, because if you don't do that, you could make a mistake and it'd be impossible to erase it. So at the end, I, I, do, uh, I grind in with a pencil, and then finally, to get that rich black background, I take some powder and I pour it onto the paper, right into the background, and I take a powder puff, and I just rub the powder puff in, and I may have to do this several times, but that gives you a nice rich black without having to grind it in with a pencil. It goes quite a bit quicker that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, save, you, you literally save hours if you use a, a, the powder instead of grinding it in. When you're done, you can get a nice, rich black. It's not shiny. It doesn't have uh, any pencil marks. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's beautiful and her, 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 the portrait really pops on the page with this bl dark black ground. That's yeah. a spectacular technique. Thank you for sharing that with us. Well, thank you. I really enjoyed being here. Great. To see Lance's and other how-to drawing books from Walter Foster Publishing, please visit us at walterfoster.com or check us out at craftside.typepad.com to meet other authors and share your crafty ideas.